it's your girl Ching and I'm back again with another tutorial for you guys. Here I'm going to show you guys how to make your virgin hair extensions bone straight the easiest way. Usually it takes like one pass through the hair and you'll get a bone straight finish. As you see this hair has like a wavy texture. This is the beach wave drama hair so if you haven't already make sure y'all go check it out dramahair.com. Um, this hair is probably two years old now, year and a half to two years old. So yeah, this is what it's looking like and it's on a unit. Things you are gonna need is a flat iron. I love to use like some sort of heat protectant and this is the L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Protects up to 450 degrees. And then it's um, three day sleek. So like it's a three day protection to keep your hair straight. Then I also like to use a dry oil. This is the Biotin and Collagen Dry Oil by OGX. So. Let's hop straight in, y'all. First, I'm gonna mist the hair with both the heat protectant and the oil, the dry oil. Not too much dry oil, though. Yep, this heat protectant makes sure your hair stays straight. So now I'm just gonna comb the hair. Sometimes you may not be able to comb the hair, but since I am able and it's not like curly, I'm going to comb the hair just to make sure the product is throughout. So everyone asks me like, how do you get your hair so bone straight? How do you get it like that? So now I'm showing you guys how I do it. I did make a video once in the past about this, but the hair was orange. So like, I'm trying to show you guys how I do it on like natural colored hair. And the hair was also like, it was, at first it was 613, so it's pretty brittle. Another tip guys, if your hair is like curly or really, really wavy, you may want to blow it out first. So now I'm going to part my hair into three sections. I always do a middle, a right, and a left. I like to make sections that are about two tracks thick, just to get the best out of the flat iron. The thicker the parts are, or the sections, the more you're gonna have to go over the hair, and we're trying to get through it in one pass. So we're gonna use like two to three tracks at a time. So here, we're gonna use the thin end of the comb. Gonna comb through it. And like I said before, if your hair is more wavier or it's more curly, you want to blow it out first to get it to a nice, you know, you want it to be as straight as possible before you start. So we have our flat iron heated to 450 degrees. And now we're going to start at the root. I like to go over the root like, you know, a couple times. And then I'll put the comb there and just go straight down. Do it one more time for y'all. See? So we're gonna comb it out. Gonna straighten the root. Then we're adding the comb and we're continuing down the hair shape. As you can see, that hair is bone straight. I'm gonna demonstrate a couple more for you guys. And then I'm gonna continue. And time lapse. Combing it out. Going over the root. 
I'm gonna put my comb there. Some people hold it upward, the comb. It just depends on what's most comfortable to you. Then we're gonna continue out. Hold your shaft. Bone straight. Here's bone straight. That here is bone straight, y'all. Bone straight.
Y'all remember what it looked like in the beginning? This is what it looked like in the end. Let me give y'all a little. Okay, okay, girl. Got that nice bone straight. Look at that. So for all the ladies out there who was wondering how to achieve your hair, or achieve this style, bone straight hair. And as you, as you see, all of my passes were like one time. This is how you do it, so. I hope I was able to help somebody in this video so you can achieve this here. Stop playing. Look at, that's life. Drama hair, baby. Like I said, this hair is two years old. I done made this wig when I was in my last shop, I remember, if I remember correctly. And I always wear it. It's one of my favorite wigs. It's a closure and two and a half bundles. But yeah, you can get this look, y'all. Make sure y'all check out dramahair.com. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. And of course, I'll holler at y'all my next one. Peace.